Fox News, Dave Spencer joins us live with a look. And Dave, that's the big thing is range anxiety. This is hoping to kind of curb that. Yeah, timing is everything, right, Roop? Fresh off the heels of the Detroit Auto Show, where electric vehicles were definitely an emphasis this year, two brothers saw an opportunity. If people are going to get in electric vehicles, where are they going to charge them? They started a company hoping that, that you will plug in. For Ali Bazi and his brother Mo, it started with the purchase of a Tesla and the belief that they need to be part of this industry. Now? We have 300 uh, secured contracts that we're dealing with right now. Uh, plazas, um, uh, gas stations, universities, uh, physical therapy centers. You can add shopping malls and gyms to that list that grows by the day, all in Wayne County alone. We met them at the site of their first location, the BP at Plymouth and Beach Daily in Redford. People go in there, you know, plug in their car and come back out and they'll have more, more miles than they came out with. They plan to be operational here by week's end. As for the 299 customers they have contracts with. For a vast majority of the rest of them, I would say by the end of the month. An ambitious undertaking for just two brothers who enter a fast-growing industry with a lot of unknowns. But they do have help coming from Madison Heights. We have a very, very good distributor uh, that allowed us to go in there and buy as many as we can. Um, and then we're here. The business model works like this. Their company, Elias Car Charging, pays the upfront cost to install the chargers. You pay by the minute, so how many kilowatt hours this thing shoots out, and then how many miles you need. So if you look and you have 30 miles left, then, and you're good with that, sh unplug it, put it back in. Business owners who want in also get a cut of the profits. 30% of the gross revenue goes to the business owner. Um, all the installation is on us. We pay the DTE bill. As they start out in this industry, there's bound to be some bumps in the road. But they plan to adapt and improve as long as they stick to their simple mission statement. We're just here to give people options to make sure that they have every option they have to make sure they can get from A to B. And this truly is a brand new startup. Just went public. These two brothers did with their business idea today. If you want to find them, in fact, you got to search them out on social media. Elias Car Charging Stations on either Facebook or Instagram. And if you're a business, they have a form there. And you could be part of their business model, get involved, and help uh, this bring these car charging stations to an area near you. Reporting live tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. I know, Dave, you and I covered a lot of the auto show, and one of the big conversations that people were having is, look, it's good to say you're going to have all these charging stations, but, you know, there's a digital divide in many communities, and a lot of people are saying, hey, what if there's an electrical divide? So it's so critical to have these available for everybody because they're expensive to put in your house. They certainly are, and they're trying to make it as convenient as possible. Say you're going to do a shopping or run some errands. You could plug it in. When you come back out, you have a little bit more charge. Get over that range anxiety and hopefully um, help you out if you are still on the fence about whether or not to get involved in uh, buying an electric vehicle. All right, Dave Spencer for us live. Thank you.